dope black artists you probably don't know about. Louis Melu Jones is probably one of the most prolific artists of the Harlem Renaissance. When you're learning art history, there's tons of white people painting other white people, and you don't really think of like, oh, black people being artists. Seeing Jones's artwork in middle school really inspired me to become an artist. Uh, her family encouraged her to become an artist from a young age. Her first exhibit, she was 17 and she held it in Martha's Vineyard. Throughout her life, she had so many different roles. She was a costume designer. She was a printmaker for a book series. She was really a painter at heart, but she was very multifaceted. She visited Haiti and designed clothing inspired by the tropical flowers. Yeah, Picasso is considered to be the father of cubism, but Jones's Le Fetiche flips it, reverse it with a little Afrocentric flair. This is one of my favorite paintings ever. I definitely need to go and get a poster of it and hang it in my bedroom because it's very inspiring. It's full of muted tones and it has such a complex composition. There's like blended brush strokes, really harsh angles. And you look at it and you're like, how many masks are actually in this piece of art? As an artist, I love oil painting. I love that she took cubism and try to make it into her own. She made it Afrocentric. It sent to Ethiopia amazed me as a kid because it traces out our history without talking about slavery. Can you imagine going to an all white school and talking about a black artist who's not talking about slavery? That's unheard of. You can see in the corner of the painting, there's a really bright star and it kind of illuminates the whole piece because it's a lot of blue, cool tones, but that bright yellow really brings it out. Not to be a hotep or anything. <laughs> but I love this piece because we started out as pharaohs and we are still artists and we're still leading our way to Harlem where there's tons of artists, there's musicians. That's what Harlem really is, the mecca for black artists. What really struck out the most to me about her art is that she made it about us for us. It wasn't based on the history of slavery. It wasn't about our struggles. No, she depicts us the way we should be perceived. You know, we're colorful, we're unique. We don't have this monolithic background. We're artists, we're artisans, we're musicians. And that's how she wanted us to be portrayed. If you like learning about black art history, drop a comment in the section below. Give me some likes, give me the love, give me the hearts, and stay tuned for part two where I talk about one of the biggest members of the Harlem Renaissance.